some point you basically design something that is acts like a human in every every way so at that point you basically have something like the terminator <laughs> where <laughs> it it can test and it can do any interaction a human could to the point where it's so good that you don't know it's right. a robot so those are the two things you basically have the matrix or or terminator as okay. far as where functional testing will go right right uh and then as far as the what, what the humans do i think at some point you're not exactly writing tests like right lines of code yep. you might be modifying like ai algorithms that spit out test suites yep. And so you're kind of like setting like the initial conditions to spit out like all the various scenarios that you want. Nice. Yeah. So you're kind of like one, stepping one step ahead. The other one is um, potentially like you're throwing a lot of spaghetti at the wall, like you're doing a bunch of stuff. It's kind of random. And then, excuse me, the um, the, the tester is more almost like a data analyst where you're looking at a lot of dashboards. It's yeah. kind of like, like if you'd be looking at like a Google Analytics dashboard, right. where you're just looking at, instead of like people traffic, you're looking at like maybe robots or AIs right, right. who are just exploring your app, and now you're trying to find the aggregate data of where they're going, where they're not going. So it becomes very much like a data analyst kind of a thing. So maybe you're not you're not actually clicking the buttons. Robots are doing that for you, but you're analyzing their behavior. Sometimes you're intending them to do stuff. Sometimes it's random. Yep. Anyway, so I, I could see it like testing will never go away. Right. But maybe the days of someone like looking up the Selenium API yep. and say like, how do I you know get that window to go away? Like, how do I actually make that a double click and not a single click? Maybe that'll be um, it, it, it won't, you won't spend as much time doing that. Right, right. Anyway, that's, that's just my theory, though. Cool. All anyway. right. So how soon do you see that happening? <laughs> I don't know. So I, I read... Uh, you know, so, like, so we really are in this middle of this like um, you know, existential crisis, you know, robot, yeah. whatever. What do you want to call it? Um, I read Populous. all the articles. Yeah. Uh, but there are uh, some people that are doubting, like, okay, fine, if the robots are going to take all their jobs, like, um, okay, where are they? I don't see them, right? Uh, sometimes robots are like a metaphor for like, actually it's the software, it's not the physical robots. Right. But either way, it's like, I think everyone's expecting it and super nervous it's going to happen like yep. today, tomorrow. Um, but it'll probably happen, but way later, like it's going to be complicated. I remember in the late 90s, people were talking about like set top. Uh, the big, the big next thing was like interactive TV. Right. Yep. And, um, and that was like the late nineties and then, and then it didn't happen, yep. but then it totally happened. Now you can watch TV on your phone and you can click buttons. All the things that they promised in the late nineties for interactive TV totally happened now, 15 years later, but they all thought it was going to happen in the next like three or four right. years. Yep. So we're probably off by like 10 or 15 years. Yep. So it's going to happen, but we've got some time. I think we've got 15 years I think, <laughs> to figure out like to find our next job. Right? right. I don't think it's happening next year. Anyway. Awesome. Um, but uh, the one thing, though, I, one of my other hobbies is uh, looking up how the job descriptions for various testing jobs. Okay, yeah. Uh, and and uh, so I was looking up at, at Tesla. And, and so manual testing, I mean, this is a big debate, right? Manual testing versus automated yeah. testing. Like, what do you do as a manual tester? There's a totally awesome manual testing job at Tesla. And it's basically like you get to drive around a track at 90 miles per hour that's a- <laughs> all day long. Like, that's your job is right. you, drive, you drive Tesla cars. Um, that's manual testing. Yep. Yeah. That's a manual testing, right, right, that's right. A manual testing that's, job. That's Why true. aren't they coming to the Slumming Conference or whatever? Like, um, <laughs> or, or whatever. But uh, so I think the job is absolutely changing, yep. but you're not going to be sitting at a keyboard, video mouse, clicking buttons. Right. It's, it's going to be, you're going to be doing, like, you might have to, like, hike up to Half Dome because you're testing, you know, some GPS connection to, yep. you know, because all the, I'm just imagining some weird scenario where right. you really have to get out in the world yep. and test something. Um, and if, right, you're, you have your Terminator, but the battery pack doesn't last to get all the way to the half dome. Right. <laughs> at some point, you're going to have to send an expedition to test all the equipment. Right. Like, that's going to, like, it'll always be there, but the yep. jobs are going to severely change. It's not going to be, you know, a cup of coffee in the corner and go to the office, right. write a bunch of tests, you know, check in your spreadsheet. Like, I think those days are kind of over. Right, right. But anyway, that's just my thing.